Naeem pork ribs, the ultimate Thai finger food. Soured with garlic, fermented for two to three days. Deep fried, absolutely delicious. Hi guys, how you all doing? Welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today we're going to make a fantastic finger food. Um, well, we're going to start today and we'll cook it in about two days time. Now in the West you might have to cook it in three or four days time. So what we're going to do, we're going to make Naeem pork ribs. We're going to sour it with garlic and some rice. Now, now you would use sticky rice, but you know, I can tell you, you can use any rice. So I'm showing you a method where you can make this anywhere in the world. And it's absolutely fantastic. You know, in two, three days time, you fry your ribs and you dip it in your sauce. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing Thai food. Okay guys, so what we'll do, we'll just run through the ingredients and then we'll chop some garlic and we'll start with our Naeem ribs. Let's show you how to do this. Okay guys, we have a bundle of pork ribs here, soft pork ribs. We have a kilo actually. Um, they're called soft bone pork ribs in Thailand. I don't know what they're called around the rest of the world, but they are very soft. I think they're the end of the pork ribs actually. So that's our kilo of pork ribs. We have some cooked rice. Now traditionally you use sticky rice, but I'm using normal cooked rice. We have a bundle of garlic, about 15 cloves, some salt and some pepper. And that is our ingredients guys. That's it. Now some people use chicken powder and sugar, but you know you don't need it. So I'm going to be lazy today and I'm putting all my garlic in a chopper. Now normally you would actually smash it up in your mortar and put with your mortar and pestle but because this is only going to be on our pork ribs and fermented for a couple of days chopping it in the chopper is more than good enough. So there you go guys chopped up loads of garlic what we need to do now is add our 15 cloves of chopped up garlic to our pork ribs. So just tip it all on there, add our pepper, tip that on there. I mean this is a very easy marinade. Tip the salt on and then all we're going to do is add one cup of rice. Now like I said before, traditionally you use sticky rice, but you don't have to use sticky rice. This makes this recipe easy to make around the world use normal cooked rice one cup of normal cooked rice mix it all together guys mix it all over so everything's incorporated mixed over all the ribs and then what we're going to do we're going to put it in a plastic bag so we're going to take all our mixture stick it in a plastic bag and then what we're going to do, we're going to try and squash out as much air as possible. Now it's not essential, but you know, the done way is to actually squash out as much air as possible and then tie it quite tightly with a couple of rubber bands. What we've got to do then, we've got to leave our mixture in our bag on the side 24 hours and then we put it in the fridge for two days for 48 hours so it sort of like ferments and starts to go sour on the kitchen side and then it finishes its fermenting and sourness in the fridge for two days now you might have to ferment this if it doesn't smell too sour when you actually make it depending on the country you live in and how cold it is here in Thailand it's very hot in fact, it's 31 degrees today. Okay guys, that's our pork ribs. All we need to do is just put them in a bowl, loosen them up. Oh, you can smell that fantastic. Anyway, so let's put it in a bowl. Right, so just ease them out of the bag into a bowl and all we're going to do is loosen them up because for the last three days they're all being clogged together um, and they're all stuck together so 
So just loosen them up and they're ready to go in the hot oil for frying and then they'll be loose. So in the pan then I'm using the wok, put enough oil in, enough oil to actually cover the ribs. You know I've got about 900 millilitres of oil in here for this one kilo of pork ribs. So get your pork ribs in and then we're going to deep fry them. So deep fry them. Now I like mine a little bit more crispy, but you don't have to fry them as long as me. Okay, just fry your ribs to the required doneness that you like. So if they're golden brown all over, they're perfectly okay, take them out. But I like to take it a little bit further and have a little bit of crispy crunchy on there. Now all that garlic that went in there with those ribs, is going to be cream, crispy crunchy. So take it all out and serve it all up. Now we normally serve with a little bit of salad, a little bit of chopped garlic, a hot sauce of your choice, cucumber, coriander and a few chilies. All we got to do now is just dip it in and give it the old taste test. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. There we are guys. That must be the ultimate finger food when it comes down for Thai food. Amazing. Eat with sticky rice, a little bit of salad. Some garlic and a little bit of coriander or any which way you like but that is perfectly cooked ribs lovely sour taste not too sour absolutely fantastic mm -hmm. now guys if you like what we're doing and you would like to subscribe that would be absolutely fantastic Till next time, take care.